Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about Ford stock, ticker symbol F. Now, this is a company that had a great week in the stock market, seeing that the stock price went to all time highs. Um, and for good reason, there was some very, very interesting PR that came out this week. Um, and you know, a lot of reasons to be bullish on this company moving forward. In this video, I'm gonna break down that PR, kind of explain just how significant this is for the future of the company, both short term and long term. And then I'm gonna hop into the charts, breaking down key levels, key indicators, and more so we know how to best play this moving forward. So without any further ado, leave a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get started. So here it is, the major PR that came out this weekend is the main reason behind Ford's monster run to new all-time highs this week. Uh, Ford stops reservations for the F-150 Lightning Electric pickup due to strong demand coming straight from the CEO. Um, talking to Jim Cramer, we see that he said that they had to stop reservations at 200,000 because they got so many. Um, and those are all orders. Those are all pre-orders for the electric vehicle, uh, well above the current production capacity for Ford, um, which is currently at 70,000 to 80,000 units. But demand being this strong for Ford's push into the EV space is obviously a great sign for the future of this company. Um, and it's something that they're going to work on getting filled. They're going to, you know, expand their production capacities so that they can fill all these orders. And that is going to have huge impacts on the bottom line for this stock moving forward. Um, and for the company moving forward, as we can see, the communications director uh, kind of only furthering the message saying that Mach-E production being raised to 200,000 units per year by 2023 to meet customer demand with increased production starting in 2022. So Ford is on the up and up. They're going to be expanding production, especially when it comes to the EV space, which you know many people believe to be the future of uh, cars both in America and throughout the world. So this is a very, very good sign. Um, and it shows that right now everything is going well for Ford. You know, all that they have to do is now meet the demand, but the demand is there. The money is there. If they can successfully kind of, you know, s increase their supply chain um, and increase their production output, well, all of a sudden the future looks very, very bright. Good little summary here on this tweet that I saw. Ford saying that they hope that in two years they will have half the EV production capacity that Tesla has today. I mean, that is just mind boggling. If you think about it, Ford currently trades at a $200 billion market cap. Meanwhile, Tesla currently has a $1 trillion market cap. Now we know that the demand is there for Ford. So if Ford is in an, um, indeed able to kind of scale up that production well all of a sudden right there in the ev space alone we see that fair valuation for ford is going to be at that 500 billion dollar level that's well above where it's at right now and that doesn't even include all the other products and cars and trucks that they make um you know their best selling cars and trucks currently are not in the ev realm they're definitely going to continue to sell a lot of those um so the, this should be valued well above $500 billion in the next couple of years if everything goes to plan. This is very, very promising information, uh, both short-term and long-term for the stock. And what went to further it was this other PR piece that I saw coming out of Ford this week. We saw a big name kind of within the Ford insiders pick up a big chunk of Ford stock. Bill Ford, the great-grandson of Henry Ford, exercised some stock options, bought $20 million uh, of Ford stock. He didn't sell a single cent of it to cover any fees or taxes. Um, he's paying that all off on his own because he wants to hold Ford stock. He believes that the future of this company is bright. He believes that the value of the stock is going to rise tremendously that is kind of the reasoning behind this move. And once again, just kind of goes to further the narrative that the future of Ford is very, very strong. So with all that being said, let's now hop into the charts. Um, and as you guys can see, just a monster week, especially after the PR started dropping for Ford. Um, and it made this big push on Friday all the way to new uh, all-time highs, closing at that 2145 marker right below those all-time highs that they set on Friday. Um, so 
a lot of good here as far as healthy price action to the upside that kind of justifies that bullish thesis behind Ford right now. Um, it's already had kind of a nice big run up over the last couple of months, uh, kind of, you know, once again, backed on this EV push that Ford is trying to institute. Um, but now let's hop into our key levels, starting on the support side. I do have a few different levels drawn out. I'm going to kind of explain them. Um, you know, the, the, these support levels that I have marked out up here, these are for more short term trading, um, perspective. So th these are levels that you're going to use if you're trying to day trade forward or if you're here for a short to medium term swing. Um, and if you're looking for long term, that's what we're going to go with uh, um, these levels kind of in this lower segment here. Um, those are going to be nice levels to buy on if you are looking for kind of a long term investment in forward stock. But that being said, let's hop into our shorter term levels. The first one, all of these are, you know, very, very new levels that aren't very back tested given that they are sitting near those all time high levels. But we do have some resistance at 21 or some support at 2115, some at 2075, and some at this 2050s, uh, 2050 zone. Um, those are going to be your nearest short term support levels that you're going to want to see hold if you want to see the short term momentum continue and this stock continue to rise in the coming week or, you know, next couple of weeks. Um, after that, you know, we do have a little bit more space and volatility uh, in the chart that we can work off of if you're looking for more of a medium short term, um, medium to long term swing trade, um, starting with these big support levels at 1950 and $19, obviously being back tested through uh, the last couple of months. Um, and, you know, it, it's always been kind of a big level for Ford stock and, you know, seeing that it is finally kind of getting above those levels and setting new highs is definitely a sign of strength. But ultimately, you know, it would be very healthy for the stock to go retest these levels to make sure that that strength is indeed there. And that's where if you are, you know, kind of a medium term swing trader, well, that's kind of where you would really make a uh, kind of a good smart trade by buying near these support levels. However, if you are looking for longer term investment and you want to have a more conservative approach with playing the stock, then we go all the way down to these support levels right here. These are much, much stronger support levels at $16.50, $16.15, $15, $15 $14.60, and $14. All of these uh kind of you know withstood the test of time serving as both major support and resistance levels for this stock and great great spots for ads if you are in it for the long term um if we do see these levels over you know the next few months or whatnot so those are levels to also keep in mind if like i always say when it comes to support levels uh you should always kind of target your buys or ads if you're interested near those levels and by doing so you're going to minimize your risk and maximize your upside but speaking of upside let's get into our resistance levels now this is going to be kind of a lot more empty and uh, less reason based than our support levels and the only reason being is that we don't have really any data or uh, you know previous chart history to back it up, but I just kind of highlighted these key psychological levels that we're going to be watching out for of $22.50, $25, and $30. Um, you know, there are other ways to predict resistance levels um, for stocks that are hitting all-time highs, uh, mostly through Fibonacci extensions, but that's not something I normally use when I trade. Um, I you know, don't want to kind of push strategies that I'm not familiar with that I don't use onto you guys. However, you know, key psychological levels will always serve as resistance levels. So those are kind of my best resistance levels that I will be using moving forward. Um, but that's pretty much all I have there as far as resistance zones go. So with all that being said, we can now move on to our indicators, starting with the moving averages. Obviously, with Ford hitting all-time highs on Friday, it is sitting well above all of its moving averages, both the short-term ones and the long-term ones. Um, but we can go over all those levels for you guys. So the first one, the nine-day EMA, currently sits at $20. Uh, the second one, purple line here, that's the 21-day EMA. That sits at 1956. So those are the short-term moving averages that I use. And by Ford stock being priced you know, well above it right now, uh, that is a clear sign that there is a lot of short-term bullish momentum and that the bulls are in control 
um, as far as the short term goes for this stock. Uh, looking a little bit longer term, we see that the 50-day moving average is all the way down here at 1789 and the 200-day all the way down here at 1447. So that is an even stronger indication that longer term, you know, intermediate to long term, this stock is very, very bullish. The momentum is on the bull side. The bulls are in control longer term and will continue to be as long as it remains above these levels. So with all that being said, now let's hop into taking a look at the RSI and the MACD. I'm going to pull those up right there. So what we see here um, is, you know, kind of the only uh, kind of drawback right now, the only bearish indicators as far as uh, forward stock goes. And the reason being is that this stock is currently sitting in this uh, overbought territory right now, RSI sitting near that 70 level. Um, and obviously, you know, we've seen it in the past when it goes to the 70 level, it's definitely pushed higher kind of into this 80s, like we saw with this most recent push before having this consolidation break. Um, but that being said, you do have to keep that in mind. You know, a stock can't just go up and up and up. It does need to have consolidation that is healthy for a stock. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. And kind of the MACD also confirms it, even though we do see it curling here to the upside. Um, keep in mind that it is still very overextended and overbought right now. And it would be healthy to see kind of, you know, especially longer term, some more consolidation. Um in the future for new buyers to step in for the RSI to return to healthy levels. And when that is concluded, then we could see this thing really rip to new all time highs. So that's the only thing you got to keep in mind. If you are ultra bullish on this stock, uh, just keep in mind that, you know, this, this stock's already been on an incredible run over the last few months. Um, and I'm sure, you know, I, I personally believe that both short term, medium term and long term, the future is very bright for the company. But that being said, uh, you know, you want to see a stock move uh, up in a healthy manner, not in an unhealthy manner, because then you could see some major pullbacks to the downside. So that's pretty much all I have. Uh, definitely want to hear your guys' feedback and what you think is going to happen with the stock moving forward. If you have any questions for me, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. Uh, you can hit me up on Twitter or you can just leave a question in the comments below. Um, I'll do my best to answer all of them. If you like this video, hit me with a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to the channel. And aside from that, have a great rest of your night.